Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make this really pretty macrame air plant holder or also known as a macrame pod. And it's a really easy project and it looks super cute hanging on your wall. So here I have 21 lots of 100cm lengths. I just have them split into one group of 10 and one group of 11. So I have one cord that measures 150 centimeters and one that measures 50 centimeters for the wrapping knot at the end. And then I have a three and a half centimeter wooden hoop here. The wooden hoop is optional. So let's get started. So first I'm just gonna grab my little hoop and the 150 centimeter length of cord. I'm gonna attach it using a lark's head knot. So I'm just gonna split the cord in half like this and take the midway point through the hoop from front to back. And then I'm just gonna pass these two cords through the loop there. So this is a lark's head knot, so you can just pull that to tighten it, so that's nice and easy. Now I'm going to measure about 6 centimetres down from the top and I'm just going to tie it in a really basic knot. Just like this. So I'm grabbing 10 lots of our 100 centimetre lengths of cord. We're going to be attaching this in a reverse lark's head knot. So take one cord and split it in half. And then you're going to grab this cord on the left. So you're going to take the midway point and you're going to go behind the cord just like this. Fold it over and then pass the two cords through the loop there. So it's the exact same as a lark's head knot, it's just the reversed way. So go ahead and attach all 10 cords on this side using this reverse lark's head knot. Just like that. Now we can go ahead and grab our 11 lots of 100 centimetre lengths. And we're going to attach again 10 cords here on the right side. So you should have one cord left over. So we're going to grab the two cords from your right and left side, the ones that you attached all the cords to. And we're just going to cross them over like this. And then with that last cord, we're going to attach it using a lark's head knot. So the exact same method that we did with the wooden hoop. So you pass it over and then pass the two cords through the loop there. So this is just going to secure the two sides together. So you can pull it up to tighten it and you can see it will join the two sides together just like that. So you have a complete circle now. So now it's just time to fill in the base using square knots. So I'm going to come to the very top of my left side here and I'm going to pick four cords lay next to each other. I'm going to take the fourth cord over the middle two. The first will go in front of that one, behind the middle two and through this loop here. And just pull that to the top to tighten it. And then we're going to take the first one over the middle two and behind the fourth. The fourth will go behind the middle two and through this loop here. This is a square knot, so this is what we're going to use to fill in the whole base of this air plant holder. So again, I'm now taking the next four cords and doing the exact same, making a square knot. Just like that. Super easy knot once you get the hang of it. So I'm just going to continue going around and around this plant hanger using a square knot. So when you get to the cords where you join them together, you can just create one square knot just like normal and it should blend right in with the others. Now that we have one row done on this side, we're going to just complete the first row on the other side in the exact same way. Just like this. So now we just need to join the back two cords together so it will become more of a pod shape. So I'm taking the middle two cords from these two square knots that are next to each other. And I'm going to create one square knot which will join the two sides together. So we're going to then take the next four cords which will be two cords from each square knot in the first row. 
and we're going to make a square knot there. So this is called an alternating row of square knots and it's a really great method to create some plant hangers or wall hangings. I'm just going to repeat alternating square knots going the whole way around until it's at your desired length. So this was a good length for me. Really liked how in the front they're really tight rows and then in the back you've got these gaps in between the rows. So I done it so there was seven rows in total going from the front centre. And now what I'm going to do is if I bunch it together I'm just going to fill in the square knots at the back just to make sure it sits nice and evenly. And this is perfect. Now we're going to grab our 50cm length of cord. We're going to create a wrapping knot. So if you just bunch all the cords together in your hand and create this small tail at the top just like this and this loop at the bottom here. You can take this long tail and wrap it all around the cords quite tightly, keep all the cords together. Still got the short tail and the loop and I'm just wrapping the long tail around as many times as I can. Four or five times is good. And then you can take this long tail and you can pass it through the loop that we left. And then carefully hold that in place and if you pull on the tail at the top, you'll see the loop will start to close and it will hold that cord in place. And you can just pull it so it's about halfway through. And then I'm just going around and loosening it so it creates more of a pod shape and it's not all bunched up. And then just snip off the excess cord from the wrapping knot. And then all that's left to do is to trim the bottom. So this is optional, you could just leave it as is, but I like to create a nice neat finished look. So I'm measuring about 10 centimeters down and just cutting off. And you can keep these scraps, you can make so many things using scraps and I'll leave a playlist here in the iCards for you. Now all that's left to do is just to grab your air plant and put it in and enjoy it. It's such a cute little addition, I really love how it looks hanging on my wall. You can even try and put in a small little plant pot if you wanted. So if you do recreate this, please be sure to tag me on Instagram at LunacraftsOnline because I'd really really love to see it. If you could subscribe, like or comment, that would really help me out. I cannot believe we're at over 2,000 subscribers, that's just crazy to me, but thank you all so much for supporting me. And I hope you have a lovely week. Bye!